Hello guys, welcome back to Handyman LPS here again. So we have something new today. We have uh, the Freon refilling on a Ford Transit Connect. Put your car on, put the AC at full, the speed fan at full, put everything on, make sure everything is on and on the AC side. Just make sure it's on the full position and just keep it like that keep the car on keep everything on all the the ac on and then we can jump to the front because we don't know where exactly is the refiller ball so that's what we're going to know now um it's kind of hard to find where is the refiller on this 2012 Ford transit connect um it's on a hidden spot so let's see where is it that where it could be it's right here on the underneath the passenger side right here if you remove this fender right here if you remove these screws that is holding the fender and then just remove this cover this plastic cover and you're going to find out the refiller right there Okay. Okay. So then, um, yeah, you just remove here. There's only two screws to remove. Make sure you save the screws. Don't lose it. Okay. So lift this uh, plastic cover. And I mean, you can remove the tire, the tire, if you want. But, but I'm, I'm not going to remove anything. I'm just going to try to reach from here. So, however you feel comfortable. So I just try to see if that one fits in the in the fitting and then if you will be able to reach, that's it. So we're going to use this bottle. This is the Freon bottle. Um, so you need to get these new fittings now since the bottles, they don't sell as before. So now you need to get this little fitting. If you have the fitting, it's okay. If not, then just ask for. Probably it's going to cost you about two bucks and then you, you're going to be able to to refill but if you get the new gauge i mean sometimes you can get the the bottle with the gauge together they're going to come like uh, ready so you don't have to buy the the new fitting but if you have the old style like me then just get the, the fitting okay so as soon as you screw in the, the bottle you can just um Uh, uh, screw the the, the, the the bulb and just open it so that way you can uh, make sure that it's ready okay so so as soon as uh, just you're gonna right now as soon as you open this plastic you're gonna put your hand inside you see there there's a little tank okay I'm gonna touch it for you so so you can make sure which one is it. Okay. So try to reach all the way in with the with the gauge hose and just clamp in the little part right there. Right there. Okay, there is no other refiller close to this area, so you're not gonna get lost. Right? This one right here. You're gonna get the, the the gauge hose, and with one hand you're gonna try to reach inside and push it in. Just make sure it's it's clamped inside like really good so it doesn't come out. Just make sure you shake it to make sure that it's inside. Right. So now you see the how the pressure is. So my pressure is low. So basically I need to go to three quarters where the, the last red line is. That's where I, I want to reach. So right now it's really low. So basically um, I need to reach her like a lot.
every time the compressor turns on the gauge will go down and every time the compressor shuts down the pressure goes high so that's so that's the way it's going to keep doing it all the time that it's uh, working right now so that means it's refilling see right now the compressor stops and it's, I mean, the compressor is on and the gauge goes down that's because the compressor pulls the pressure so the gauge goes, goes down alright that doesn't mean something wrong no it's going to keep doing it right now you see the compressor shuts down and the gauge is going up so you want to see the, that gauge to go all the way to the third line so that way uh, when, when the compressor is uh, off the, the gauge needs to reach the third line so that's when you are ready to to remove the can and you're ready okay right now you see it's going like to the middle and going down and it's going to keep doing the same thing until it reaches to like three quarters to the green and then uh, you should be fine and also you're going to feel better um, better uh, like the ventilation inside is going to be really cold it's getting colder and colder so that's also you're going to notice depending how you feel see the gauge was up and down so it's normal This is a 2012 Ford Transit Connect. There's not much information about this one, so that's why I decided to put this video. And this is the can that I use, a synthetic uh, um, Freon. Um, and as you see, they come with different uh, fitting now. So I use two cans, the cans are empty now. And um, I'm ready to remove the plug. Okay, remember. 2012 for Transit Connect. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share my videos if you liked with somebody. Share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay. So see you next time. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, it's kind of short, and uh, I didn't uh, spin the video because I mean I just forgot honestly. So I hope you feel uncomfortable watching the video this way. Okay, so then you just remove the, the fitting. And as you see, that's how you use the fitting on these cans. Alright, they're empty, they, they come like that now. And you just use this fitting, this little fitting is probably like public two bucks. Just make sure you have everything before you start. Thank you, and have a great day. And I'll see you soon.